comes to beauty today guys i'm going to be teaching you how to produce hair pomades at home so on this channel we talk about skincare we talk about hair care and we talk about lifestyle so we are also going to be looking at some drinks to do weight loss and other uh, benefits for your body all right let's go straight to our topic for today today i want to do a hair pomade and for this recipe we are going to be needing this jar this is our uh, heat resistant um, jar and then we are also going to need something that we are going to put our pomade inside then we are also going to be needing beeswax beeswax we shall also be needing shea butter and uh, cocoa butter. All right, let's get into action. So before any production, you want to make sure you have your formula written out all right this part is a uh, thickener it also adds brightness to your hair it's really really good Okay, and we keep it as that. Share butter. Okay, we are going to be making use of cocoa butter. We are going to use our double boiler for this recipe. So let's get to our double boiler surface. So as you can see here, this is our pot. This pot is purposely for our production. And uh, right inside this pot, we have water. So we are going to put this um, into the, the pot when the water is a bit warm. We are going to use this, put it into the pot and then when it's warm, we are going to put our butters. So you can as well add the other oils that we are going to be adding but for me, I prefer to heat this and let it get melt. When it's well melted, I'm going to add the other oils. So while you can see, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring to help the butters melt fast so this is going to take some time just need to be patient what you notice is that um, cocoa butter is really hard it takes a really long time to be melted and then uh, the beeswax too takes some time to get melted so you want to be patient when doing this process this is called the double boiler method I really love to use this method when I'm melting my oils 
all my waxes and hard oils so can you see that um, they are quite getting melted yeah when you stir it gets um, fast So what I want you to note is that you do not need to wait until all the hard oils, the waxes, and the uh, cocoa butter get melted. You can as well take it off when it's just almost everything is almost melted, so as to limit the heat on the oils. Okay, I'll take it down for the moment. Wow. This is our oil. Okay. <laughs> I know um, my surface might not be very good, so let me just use this, okay? Hope you can see. <laughs> We always improvise. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, oils are well melted. Oh, we need coconut oil. Coconut oil. I'll go back to my skill. Because of the nature of the coconut oil, it was cold. So when adding, you see some indications start taking place. So that is to tell you that the oil is getting cold. So also have to add. to add olive oil so while I get to okay so um we want to feel the temperature because we want to add essential oils I personally love good flavor so I'll be going with uh, some essential oils if you don't want or if you don't have essential oils, you can still do this without essential oils. But I love when it smells good. When it smells good, oh yeah, I do love it so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lavender is a great oil. your hair when you have problems like dandruff those things tea tree will help you treat wounds and uh, I just love rosemary rosemary is first of all great for the hair and the smell oh, each time I produce hair products and I use rosemary my customers always like Wow, that smell, that smell. Okay, pomade is ready. And now let me pour it. Okay. 
Alright guys, we are going to keep this until when it's fully solidified and then I'm going to show you how our hair pomade looks like and feels. Goodbye. Hi guys, so finally we are at the end of this video and as you can see this is our hair pomade. Can you see that? So nice. Oh my god. The smell is lovely. Absolutely lovely. So guys, thank you for watching this video to the end. I'm so happy and I hope you are happy as well for learning how to produce this hair pomade. If you are new to this channel, thank you very much for watching our videos. And please, there are other videos on our channel you can as well go ahead and watch. And I want to thank all those who subscribe and those who are just watching the video. Thank you. Do consider to subscribe because there are going to be more amazing DIYs. So go back to our DIY video and watch. Thank you. Hair pomade produced by you at home.